Welcome everybody to episode 13 of La Mulana. Um, last time we uh, did the entirety of this one labyrinth. I don't think there's anything left to do, really. Um, our inventory looks great. There's a ton of stuff in our inventory. Um, there are some usable items which we are missing, but we will get those in due time. And um, a little bit of software, but not too much. So, in this episode, I promised you a boss fight. I also, um, off screen, I uh, did the money thing once to get a little bit of pocket money for, um, for this episode. I didn't want to do that. Um, and I completely filled out my money <laughs> with, uh, with um, one one time going there and basically getting coins so yeah it's you can get about 850 or so in one run which is which is really good what is it now i don't need you elder Um, let's put uh, the software combination on. Here we go. And let's try to beat the boss. The boss is not too difficult, I have to say. With the flail whip and the software combination, we should be able to take it down easily. If I didn't jump way it's one of the coolest bosses in my opinion in this game the bosses are really 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 dope i love them but um there you go Please welcome Baphomet. Baphomet? I don't know how you spell her name. Its name, I have to add. It's supposed to be a gold demon. With some female features, yeah, but still. So, yeah, um. All of this thing about witches in the twin labyrinths and you know basically the, the boss of the twin labyrinth is a demon and yeah i mean it's pretty it's pretty on the nose where um where the twin labyrinths mythology comes from it's a sort of weird Lamulali's um, combination of um, ancient Greek mythology and, um, you know, Mesopotamian mythology with demons and stuff. There we go. That's the boss down. Also, don't stand in the center. Because this happens. If you're low on hell, you can actually die after you've defeated the boss. So, yeah. Don't do that. And you're fine. That's the sixth guardian down. Baffle me. And the adventure continues. Here we go. So that's six guardians down. Um, there's really not much to do for us here anymore. 
We got the lamp of time, we got most of the stuff we need in here. So we should be fine. So what to do next is the big question. Also, we can't warp anymore because we need uh, this one. Here we go. Um, let's go to the Tower of the Goddess first. There is a software I want to pick up here. Also, for um, Candlesticks of Time, I always use this one. I th think it might be the closest. I didn't want to go here. I don't really know. So there's a few... Um, there's a few areas where I want to use the Lamp of Time. The Lamp of Time is uh, particularly good for um, a bunch of stuff. We can get a software combination, we can get a pretty important item with it. It's a pretty important item in this game. Not so much in the next game I find, but um, we will get there. So, if you go up here, you remember this um, thing, this pedestal. There was a thing coming crushing down at the start of the area. If you use the Lamp of Time to stop time, you can actually press this one. <laughs> and then by uh, Miracle Witch, which is this software. This one allows us to um, determine which fairy we are going to get. So yeah, using a certain software combination you can guarantee a certain fairy that will appear so you don't have to do the random fairy um, thing anymore. <coughs> Pretty important software. Can only be gotten with the level of time. Take another charge. Come on. Here we go. Go immediately back to the Tower of the Goddess. Um, you might know that. We had these free trials in the Gate of Illusion that were set up. That we couldn't do yet. We couldn't do all of them. Which was over here. Um, we can now actually do this. I really want to kill all of these bats first. Here we go. One of the trials is this room. We need to... We need the Lamp of Time and the Bracelet to break all of, all of these pots. We need to stop time and then break all of the pots while time is stopped to solve this one. So... We need the Bracelet for this one because um, the pots only take one hit with it. That's the first puzzle down. Um, let's get another charge for the Lamp of Time. And if you ever think about how, you know, if you ever think to yourself, how did anyone actually find a solution? I don't have a clue. Well, it's mostly reading the stuff, noting stuff down, and trying to figure out what you need to do. So, the second puzzle is over here. 
It's not really a puzzle per se, it's just this enemy here. We can make this easier with the Lamp of Time. Um, this enemy sucks, by the way. That's why I always use the Lamp of Time to just... Because you can fall off so easily here, um, it just sucks. So I always use the Lamp of Time to just make this one extremely easy. There we go. This is the Grail Tablet, and to the left of here... There is this one. Where you can see light flooding in from outside. And you need to push the block, as I did. And you need to get uh, the lizard to walk into the light. Which he doesn't want to operate. Come on, do it. Do it! Oh, fuck you. Just cooperate with me. Seriously? Uh, we just need to wait for him to walk into the lights. There we go. And that's the third puzzle. Not too difficult, but we needed the Lamp of Time and the Bracelet for that one puzzle. So... There was no avoiding it, but we took the wrong path. Oh, come on. Get your shit together. Here we go. Over here. And up here. There are three pedestals. Which remove the barriers. And now we can talk to the Stray Fairy. She will open the treasure chest for us. And obtain the Cog of Soul. The Cog of Soul is pretty important. It lets us activate certain mechanisms in the ruins. Certain life-giving mechanisms. There are life-giving mechanisms like this one in the ruins. Which is able to spawn the Mudman. Also remember this uh, engraving up here. This one. I don't know if I can scan it. No, I can't. Sometimes you sca can scan background elements. You can't scan all of this. Okay. Um, so... Now that we have the Cog of Soul, I think it's finally time to start our journey to the seventh boss. Should we? Should we journey to the seventh boss right now? I think I'm going to try the Temple of Moonlight puzzle again. Um, we now have 30 bombs. That should be enough. I really want to get that item because I don't want to miss it out on it. The worst thing that can happen in La Mulana is if you have um, all of the items. And you're missing just one and you don't know which one you're missing. Usually that can't happen but sometimes it can so you should grab all of the items that come to mind if you can.
every time you find an item, you should uh, grab it. If it's at all solvable. Come on. That was close. Yeah, so this opens up the shop here. Which sells this? Which is the scriptures? It's only two items we're missing. Which um, lets us completely ignore bats. They knew the bats were so annoying that they needed to remove them. Great stuff, right? And we almost have all of the health upgrades too. There's only one health upgrade and we can't get to it yet, so... You know. Now we go to the Tower of the Goddess, um, save and jump down. And we need to get to the top of the second tower, by the way. We don't take the um, path we took from the Graveyard of the Giants last time we went to the Chamber of Birth. There are two entrances in the Tower of the Goddess. And one of them is up here. Also another candlestick of time. should actually take you know but this gets us to another area in the chamber of the birth also there's a great tablet it's taunting us we can't get to it and we have to walk the entire chamber without getting to it such a dick move I love it it just show you the great tablets this treasure chest over there, by the way, has a map, but I don't really know how to open it, so... You can walk into here, by the way, and just buy the Ankh Jewel. For this area. This thing over here, you can open with the Crystal Skull, as it shows a skull on the background. I mean, it's pretty on the nose. This one shows a serpent. We need the Serpent Staff. To open. Here we go. We go over here. This one's tricky. This one is really tricky. If you fall, you're doomed, by the way, in this one. So we don't want to fall. I think that wasn't it? Okay. One of them needs the maternity statue and one of them needs the dragon bone. This is a infinite pit, by the way. Let that sink in. Can I attack this thing down there? And what do we do with infinite things? We use the key of eternity on it. Which opens this up. This treasure chest. Which we need for later. But for now, we teleport. This is another puzzle. 
You need to hit this from the other side. So now we can go up here. Finally. And up here. And over here. And we finally managed to get to the Grail Tablets. This is the Chamber of Birth. Here we go. So now we can teleport here. Good stuff. Um, use a Cog of Soul on this one. And it moves that one aside. And we can use this to go over there, jump down here, use this elephant to teleport, that's not what I wanted, hit this wall, and let's open this treasure chest. But first we need to equip the Lamolana Talisman because it's a cursed treasure chest and we get the dimensional key. We can... with this we can weaken the twisted dimension. And we can open this up. So... Let's teleport back. And let's walk the entire path that we just did again. We solved a huge chunk of the um, Chamber of Birth, by the way, right now. <laughs> it's it's so convoluted and complicated, this area. And you need a ton of late game items for it. It's probably one of the most important parts. I mean, it is called the Chamber of the Birth, and it's intrinsically related to... Um, to the lore of this game. So, over here. Seriously? Oh my fucking cheese. Here. There's a bunch of stuff we can do in here. Oh. I didn't notice that was there. Okay. I'll take it. Uh. So here we go. I think this leads to the other area, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, um, in this area we need to, in this place, we need to do the Dance of Life, which is um, shown in another pedestal, which is Attack three times left, attack three times to the right, and then jump. This is the Dance of Life. Um, it's shown in another pedestal. Um, let's walk this entire thing again. You need to walk this thing um, multiple times. So yeah, all of this is basically set up to um, unlock the boss. Also, the sprite work in this game is fantastic, you have to admit. Like, the cogs turning in the background that you can see after you um, use the cog of soul on stuff. And it's just 
it's just incredible. Like this entire area is basically a giant uh, life-giving machine. And it shows. And it's consistent with the lore. I just love it so much. do that. Fuck me. Oh, I hate this. But this is the last thing we will do this episode, I think. Um, I think this might be the last thing we do this episode. Moving through the ruins is fun. To be honest, like it might not seem that fun, but the gameplay actually carries a lot of it. Like the movement in this game is just so much fun for me. I don't know why. There we go. Another mini boss. I think you activate him with the dance of life. Um, Extremely crazy mini boss. I love him so much. He's just so derpy. this guy we get the pochette key which is a golden key and it can activate an ancient machine so let's not forget that So we are now on the other side of um, this area. Let's not die here, please. Here we go. We are inside. Now we teleport to the Chamber of Extinction and activate this. Let us warp out of here. Um, that was a ton of stuff to do um, that we have done right now. We have the pochette key. There's a bunch of stuff that just happened. I think we'll continue this a little bit further in this episode. Um, I'm continue. I'm recording a little bit longer. Um, now we go to the Chamber of Extinction, which um, so now that we have the pochette key and we activated stuff in here. I think there's something here. No. Isn't there something pretty close by? That we can activate. Is it up here? Something. Uh, 
I would love to have a thing by now. Um, that's a little bit stupid. But as you might have noticed, there is um, a mural that blew down, which we can activate with the with the pochette key. Aren't we able to push this one yet? Um... Okay, let's check this out. Um, first off, Inferno Cavern. You might know that. Um, in the bathroom from Inferno Cavern, we fell into the Chamber of Extinction. Which, you know, we did. So let's try this. This should have uh, done enough to activate the boss. Theoretically. I hope so. There we go. This is the uh, boss room for... Um, Chamber of Extinction and Chamber of Birth. The Seventh Guardian. And, as per usual, we will heal up and then tackle the boss next time. Let us go to um, Inferno Cavern for now and save here. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see more Lamolana content, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Until next time, goodbye.